2017 has been a line drawn in the sand kind of year. Where once mainstream media, Hollywood, and Silicon Valley tried to keep some semblance of neutrality on politics, now everybody has taken their masks off. Everybody's true colors have finally been revealed. And Twitter is no different. If you have an opinion that runs contrary to the corporate standard, see ya! Isn't it strange that they decide to take away your verification? As if Twitter is solely in command of your identity. The obvious ramification of this is that with your blue tick gone, now anyone can steal your Twitter identity. And they know this. Don't it seem like an unusual punishment? Why not just suspension? Or even expulsion? Well, consider this. Now Twitter will punish you for your offline activity as well. Whatever that means. You see where this is going? If you lose the ability to confirm your own identity, then anyone else can pretend that they are you. However, Twitter plans on doing this, the motivation is clear. To push you off the platform, yes, but moreover to ruin your image. We already know there are shills and paid trolls that bombard social media with mountains of ridiculous propaganda and nonsense. Why not have paid shills pretend to be you? And then, while wearing your mask, I don't know, sexually harass a nun? No, no. That's crazy. Nobody cares about Christians anymore. Here's what they do. Whatever the Democrats and the mainstream media is about to get caught up in, that's what they blame you for. Tommy Robinson lost his blue tag? Well, anonymous sources at Twitter also claim he has associations with Russia or child trafficking. In his off time, Twitter court found him guilty of Russian racist trans ageist fasci smuggling. There's something equally ridiculous. Wait and see. You think this won't affect you? Wait and see. In this new PC world, even a gentle soul like Al Franken can't enjoy a titty or two. And all you closet commie creeps are next. Twitter is too powerful to be trusted. But their power depends on you, the user. Remember MySpace? Yeah, I don't either. The tide is turning away from the dinosaur media. And now Barney's angry. Well, chicks will love that bitch straighten the taint and take your lives back and your services elsewhere, because they ain't worth it.